All right, Jorge, it's time for us to uh, talk restaurants, and we're going to bring on um, our good friend and another frequent contributor to the Grow Omaha show, Stacy Winters, who is the founder of Omaha Food Lovers on Facebook. Stacy, welcome back. Thanks for having me. It's my favorite day of the quarter. And, and ours, too, because we get to talk about our favorite subject. And this is my first one, so I'm really excited. Yeah. That's true. Well, it's funny because when, when Trenton was going to be out, um, I was thinking, oh, yeah, maybe we'll just kind of do it myself. And then then last night, I'm like, oh, I got to call Jorge. He loves restaurants. He'd be perfect to have as the guest co-host. Too. And I have a lot going on. Let me just say this. So for me to come here is actually a big deal. Yeah. It's, it's, it's about, always fun to talk food. He's getting ready to move into a new house and has a baby uh, son uh, that could come like within minutes. Yeah, literally. Awesome. So, awesome. But this gets me up in the morning. It's, yeah. it's, it's fine. So Stacy, um, Omaha Food Lovers um, has now up to just a shade under 70,000 members, and it's one of the most active Facebook groups that I've ever been a part of. Kind of give us a quick overview of Omaha Food Lovers. Yeah, it's been in existence for a little over two years. Um, it's the, it expanded, you know, when, when COVID, you know, hit, and it really it really grew. I think we were about 16 when COVID hit, so it's, it's definitely grew quite a bit. Um, I think it's, you know, we have such a great active community. I mean, we're, I mean, it's really, it's really inspiring sometimes to see some of the posts that you see in the group. You know, it's like a lot of heartfelt, you know, acknowledgement of restaurants and the struggles they're going through or, you know, acknowledging, you know, people that are providing great service. And, you know, right now that's a, that's a big deal. I think people, you know, are are exhibiting patience or hopefully most people are. So how do you feel like the forum, um, you know, responded to COVID and in and, and, and supporting all these restaurants? Yeah, I think it came out, you know, in, people came out in droves, right? Because I think people are just dis- discovered places they they didn't know before. And I think that's probably what I, I what I've loved about it is people finding places that they've never heard. They've gone outside their comfort zone. You know, they're, they're going to a lot of the non chain restaurants. Um, you know, we've done polls in the group and, you know, I think we did our top 25 restaurants and I think one might have been a chain restaurant in that in that. So it's pretty cool to see the support, especially for the local places. Um, I think that's that's been cool. I think we have a, a very active I think I've you know kind of told you this, but you can see kind of a, from an activity level, I think 90 plus percent of the members are actually active in the group, which is great. So like 60,000 or something? Yeah, six, I think it's, I think, you know, we get the stats, but I think it's like it's over 63 that are actually that's active in the last month. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. Well, I'm active on it, and I will make a confession right here in front of 12,000 KFAB listeners. I get a lot of my <laughs> a, lot, a lot of my my new restaurant news on the show, and then the newsletter comes exactly from Omaha Food Lovers. I, I saw that. I get my I, I I'm a subscriber. I love getting my Thursday email from Grow Omaha, um, and you know, kind of seeing some of the updates. I, I know one I think that you had on there was about Muchachos, which is this great restaurant down in uh, Lincoln. They're they're gaining a lot of popularity. They were featured you know during the uh, Michigan game. Um, they the Michigan Nebraska game, you know, uh, Todd Blackledge went to the restaurant and tied, or tried some of their their food, and you know, it's definitely got some popularity. But I know uh, Nick, the owner there, is definitely looking to forward to expanding into Omaha sometime. I don't, there's nothing security at it, you know, on that, but I know that it's they're looking to expand. Yeah, he made a post on Twitter uh, this week saying, "Just got back from Omaha, found a great spot." If it works out, it, w- it would be 12 to 15 months or whatever. And and I've never been to the place and hadn't heard of it until it was on the, that football game. So I looked it up. Fusion between New Mexican cuisine. And I lived in New Mexico for two year, or a year uh, and uh, loved the food there. In fact, I go back every year just to eat. Mm-hmm. And then barbecue, which is you know yeah. one of my favorite things on the planet. Yep. Wow. Gary Saddlemeyer and I have a barbecue club. The two of us go to a new barbecue place every month. But uh, so, yeah, that'd be a great place. Yeah. Well, Stacy, speaking of new places, one of the things we always like to throw at you when we first have you on are like, OK, what's new? What are some of the new places that have either opened lately or places that have been around for a while that you've tried yeah. and you want to recommend? Well, this is a very timely uh you know, discussion, because last night I went to a new place off 88th and, and Maple called uh, Everett's, um, doing a very, pretty small menu, um, but doing it really, really well. Um, I, I put a post in the group last night about their fries. Their fries are absolutely incredible. I, I, I have a huge fry lover, um, and they do the skin on kind of thin, thin cut French fries, perfectly crisp with uh you can get their garlic aioli as a dipping sauce with them, which is really, really good. I highly recommend that. They're doing a poutine special this week. So oh, if, you're, nice. if you're a poutine lover, um, I can only imagine how great that would version would be just because of how good the fries are. So that was a that was a really uh, cool um, 
place to check out or a place that I, I did um, check out. Um, some other things that, you know, kind of discovered in the last kind of quarter, not necessarily new places, but um, just some favorites that I found. Um, finally got the chance to dine in at Canara. Um, Canara is, you know, probably, you know, one of the, one of the best Indian restaurants in Omaha. The food's great carry out or, or dine in, but, you know, I think it was elevated a bit having the dine in experience now too. So that was, uh, that was really good. Um, checked out Shehin, um, Afghan restaurant, which is located on the backside of where, um, Big Fred's is at. Um, first time having Af- uh, Afghani or Afghanistan kind of food. Um, and it was, it was phenomenal. The, the, the whole family is working there. It's pretty cool to go in there and you. They're nice people. They're very nice people. Our office is not far from there, so yeah. I have I've strayed over there a couple times yeah. before. And it's, it's good really stuff. Fun. Like their lamb kebab is really really good. Um, um, something else I think just kind of everybody's always looking for a a Sunday fun day type of place to go to. Not a new restaurant by any means, but Report in Pub. I don't think probably has as much. You know, people don't necessarily always think of it as this you know fantastic breakfast brunch spot. Um, but I would say from a, if you're looking for a place to go for a true fun day, I would say the reporting pub is probably at the top of my list. They, they do, they don't just have bottomless mimosas. They have a whole mimosa cocktail menu. So they, they do some, nice. they do some blood orange mimosas, but it's not just orange juice and, 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 uh, champagne. It's got others, other things mixed into it. They have a blueberry lemon mimosa and they're obviously known for their bloody marys that's kind of what kind of put them on the map i think was their you know kind of the meal in a mug type thing so those are that's a a few things um i think i don't know if we want to talk about there's a few things happening today well well, well, let's take our middle of the show break and then we'll come back and talk about some of those things today yeah and then we might go deeper into some other restaurant talk yeah and i also have a uh, announcement for the food lovers group too. So Ooh. okay, good because yeah. okay. which is which is very very timely because I would swear half or more of the people that listen to this radio show are on no yeah. food lovers. Yeah. So, and uh, Stacy, uh, there are a couple events going on today in the foodie world. Yeah, I mean they're mostly you know just kind of related to a couple of different restaurants. But Tired Texan is doing a kind of a soft not I wouldn't say soft opening but you know I think everybody most people know they had a fire they've been closed down for four months as they've been trying to get their smoker to arrive you know the supply chain issues you know kind of impacts everybody so they finally got their smoker um, and today they're doing kind of a goodwill donation you know they're going to be offering like pulled pork sandwiches and their famous tumbleweeds um, I think it starts at 11 I believe so you can go over there they're kind of just doing it in the parking lot um, and I think they're planning to reopen permanently. They think they targeted uh, the 30th of this month. So, um, yeah, I can't even imagine. I mean, those restaurants that, you know, have gone through so much just with COVID, but then to have a fire, be shut down for four months, you know, to still battle your way back to, to reopening, you know, it's a big deal. And I think, you know, hopefully we can uh, show them all some love. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the other thing was there's a there's a small little restaurant down in Louisville called uh, Sauced by Alfaro. Um, she's a wonderful chef. Uh, it is a carryout only location. I think she was hoping to have a full service, but some things fell through, and um, so currently she it's a it is a carryout only. Um, but you can go next door to the Good Times Bar and order it there, eat it there. They're having some. But today she's doing her uh, bang bang shrimp tacos, like bang puffy tacos. Oh wow! Um, so yeah, it's a hugely popular one. And she, I think last night she posted something like they made like they battered up like sixteen hundred shrimp to to go for this to this day. So they're doing basically from twelve to eight. Um, a, a special with those tacos and a few other things that they offer. They have these garlic confit fries where it's just loaded with garlic and Parmesan and it's really, really It's coming from the fry guy. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's really, the, what she's doing down there is pretty impressive. She makes some f- fantastic desserts and there's also a little place in Louisville called um, Mrs. T's Dairy Cream which the, this is their last weekend open for the year. So if you go down there, make sure you stop there. And I highly recommend the hot fudge malt. Um, oh, I love malt. That yeah, I'm a, yeah. malt hot, f- hot through fudge through malts through. are my weakness. I'm a, I'm a, I love hot fudge malts with extra malt. I like that, vanilla malt. Yeah. Vanilla malt is my thing. So yeah. it sounds Me like too, Louisville's but with definitely- extra malt. Okay, with extra yeah. malt, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds like Louisville is definitely a worthwhile trip yeah. uh, this Saturday. Yeah. Now, Stacy, you mentioned that Omaha Food Lovers is going to have a big announcement here. We're kind of eager to hear what it is. Yeah, we are. Hopefully by the end of this year, we will have a Food Lovers app um, where we will partner with local eateries, restaurants, bakeries, um, you name it, whoever wants to be involved bars, grills, whatever. Um, so like but, a piece of software, not yeah, an appetizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. <laughs> so a, uh, but basically we'll uh, work with, 
work, work with the local restaurants to kind of incentivize diners to, to come try out their places. Um, so it'll be uh, an app um, that people can download and hopefully offer some incentives for people to try you know, new places. And I think it'll offer like a once a month type of uh, discount um, that people to, can, you know, whatever the restaurants want to offer um, for people to come try out their restaurants. Um, so it'll be uh, hopefully by the end of this year, we'll have something unveiled. So, uh, you know, we're working on kind of the branding and uh, the development right now. So that'll yeah. be exciting. It'll be you very, very, know. very cool. We want, we'd love to check it out as soon as we can. Absolutely. I tell you what, I don't know about you folks, but after a couple segments of this, I'm about ready to start eating the laptop and the papers <laughs> and sitting on the desk. I'm getting so hungry with this conversation. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.